Greens and welcome to another video. Today we got the special side updates to the patch 6.55 or actually the 6.5 special side is being updated with the content of 6.55. So yeah, let's take a closer look at what the next Tuesday will offer in content and updates. So first of all, of course, we will have one of the big branches, the main scenario quest, trying to connect the Endwalker story with the Dawn Trail story. And as you can see here on the render, we also have a glimpse of our new Hrothgar friend that you could also see on the trailer and Kryl in her Pictomancer outfit. I'm not sure how they will introduce that into the storyline or how they embedded that into the story or if it's just something that she mentions. We will see about that. Maybe it's a relevant part or not. But yeah, it's definitely a cool idea. I'm not certainly not sure about Pictomancer. I think the hype was quite split there. There were people really loving it and some people that absolutely don't have anything to deal with that job. But yeah. On the other hand, the female Rothgar looks phenomenal and I think they look much better than the male Rothgar. I'm not sure why they decided to add this bent over posture to the male Rothgar when we had Ronsos that were just standing normally. So far we don't have this on the female Rothgar and I really love that. I appreciate the appearance there a lot. Okay, so next big branches are the new trial, which is called the Gilded Aria. And this will feature the boss Azura, who will or who was featured in previous Final Fantasies already. And I really like the appearance of her. She's kind of a mix of Lakshmi and Sophia somehow. And maybe the mechanics could also be something like that. Um, I'm not sure about that, but would be cool. I, I really love the Sophia mechanics with the... Uh, balance and scale that you could fell off the stage and all that stuff. That was awesome. But of course, Lakshmi also had some very interesting and unique mechanics as well. And here you can see called to Thefnair by mortal avarice and delighting in the clash of steel on steel. This manifestation of the battle thirsty Azura will put your metal to the test. So here you can also see another render of her. Um, yeah, that's really, really cool. I like that. Okay, so the next branch, of course, will be Tatara's Grand Endeavor. I'm not sure. I think they don't connect that to Dawn Trail because uh, all the previous stages were connected to the Endwalker people and Endwalker area. So it might just end here as well. And of course, we will see somehow further Hildebrand adventures, which we all have been waiting for. And of course, this will bring us to the final stage of the Relic Weapons as well. And I'm still not sure we can't make anything out here to give us an indication of if it's just tombstones or if we have a unique material. Maybe this crystal here could be something that is indicating an, another material or another ingredient that needs to be accumulated for the final stage. But I'm not sure about that. We will see. And yeah, finally, we will have the Endwalker Tribal Alliance quest, kind of combining all the tribals together and having a final celebration of Endwalker or something like that. And yeah, I'm curious to see that. I'm, I think I need to catch up with some tribals. I haven't unlocked all of them yet. The Aka Sodara, I think that's what I, I did, but that's uh, basically everything I did in Endwalker. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit lazy in Endwalker when it comes to side content. Uh, I know that. And yeah, some people already mentioned that on my 6.55 preparation video that this content will not be the final part and Mandeville weapons and the MSQ part 2 won't be the end of Endwalker because we still will get the Final Fantasy 16 crossover. And I'm speculating it could happen on exactly the one year celebration of the release of 16. So maybe that's quite an, a time schedule and time window where this could take place. But yeah, I'm really excited to see that uh, as the fight against Ifrit looks amazing here. So yeah, let's see how that turns out. And of course, Xbox Series X and S will have their open beta something around in February. I heard about that date somewhere here. And yeah, that's basically everything they added to the special side. We won't get any Relic pre-renders or any Relic previews or anything like that because they usually want the players to get that in-game and want to have the full sensation of, wow, that looks awesome. That's that's a cool weapon. I'm glad they have this. But of course, there are a couple of content creators that might <laughs> enlighten you before you actually have earned your own relic weapon. Or if you think about, hey, which relic is worth grinding for, right? So that's always something I'm trying my best to provide as 
fast as possible. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful time. Stick around for the patch notes that will and might add some more additional information here on this site, but could also just give us some other info that we will talk about when they got released. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep loving Final Fantasy.